Up, up ahead. Yeah. Good morning. It's a really warm day already. It's going to be really hot, and I'm going to go film while Simeon and his dad put um, the hose in the lake to get water at the lake that they've been working on installing. They have to build some sort of boat contraption to do that. So, yeah, let's go see what's going on. These are also not screws. Look at back here. I didn't see that. All the way. Usually we don't cut sheet metal roofing with this because it gets too hot and it breaks the protective layer from so it will rust, but on this it just doesn't matter. I just want to get this done. It's old scrap metal roofing. It's electric for the pump house. Mm -hmm. So before we take the pump and everything down there, we just want to hook it up here real quick and see if it works properly, if it can build up pressure and everything. It would be a bummer to be down by the leg and find out that it won't work. Here's the proof that it works. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Letting the pump run empty now, gonna take it down to the lake. Next step, build a boat. Building, taking both Canadians here and building them a bit bigger so that we have enough room to put some weights on here and the hose, and then we're gonna let that drop into the lake. Yeah, I'm watching.
so the hose is in the water it's a landline right now above ground it's gonna be dug into the ground eventually but my dad turning on the electricity now then I think we have a battle ahead of us to get the hose the air out of the hose but then the the really exciting time will be to see what will arrive up at the farm how much pressure we'll have and all of that some serious wind has picked up and the storm clouds are coming in really quickly and we hope we can get this all done before it starts with a thunderstorm and lots of rain but I'm a little doubtful <laughs> So I have decided to walk back um, before the rain comes and let the guys stay down here and take care of the rest of the installation there. So folks, this is it. The water line to the lake is installed. We've been anxious to see how much pressure will arrive up here. We've had to make runs to the lake daily to get water. Last year was a severe dr drought here in our region, so we had to get one to two cubic meters of water to keep things alive and going here. And we have this greenhouse that I'm standing in front where we have tomato plants and we just need water for livestock gardening, everything. And our households ran out of water, especially just uh, in the middle of the summer last year. So we have installed this here, it's a strong pump. I shot a video like a couple weeks ago about why we chose this kind of pump with a cable down at the lake. I didn't put that in a video back then but I'm gonna put that in this video now just to give you some extra information. But first let's look here real quick what kind of pressure arrives here. So the pump has a bubble, so it doesn't jump on right away. And now the pump has jumped on, so now the pressure is building up again. And this is now opening all three of these. It's a 40 millimeter pipe, and this is obviously going to like half inch, which reduces a lot of the water flow. But what we have checked, what we have found is that opening one of these gives us 35 liters per minute, two of them 45 and 50 liters per minute with all three of them. And we will also put a, a opening here for 32 millimeter or something and then we will go to all the pastures where we'll be able to give the livestock water. So this is really exciting, it'll definitely speed things up, lower costs and it's just a worthwhile investment. Here's now some extra information for you, why we didn't choose solar powered or a bigger pump up here to save costs on the cable and so on. I hope you enjoyed that information. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye guys. So I just want to talk about a couple things here in regards to this. We live very much in the boonies here, far away. We don't have access to public water, which I'm glad about because they add chlorine and all that kind of chunk into the water. We don't want that. We are very, very happy with our wells. They are just dug by a normal excavator, so they're not very deep. But we have found that they're not enough to support the livestock. We have found that they're not enough to support the homes during a drought. And so it has been very difficult and we had to drive water with our ATV and with, with a gasoline driven pump, you know, a couple cubic meters every day for the last few years and we don't want that anymore so we have been looking at different solutions how we can take care of this and one has been looking at a smaller pump down by the lake that is you know you need less strength to push the water up or a and, and then we would have saved money on buying the pump because it needs it's smaller but we need to invest into a cable all the way down to the lake or buying a 
much 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 stronger and bigger pump up here that can pull water all the way down from the lake all the way up here and then we wouldn't have to invest into the cable a third option was to buy something solar powered but in the winter that's just a no-go here and it costs so much money an incredible amount of money to get this kind of solar powered system down there that could supply what we really need so we've looked into this and done a lot of research and it's just absolutely unaffordable for us so what we are what we have done now is we have bought a smaller pump we've bought a cable we have bought the pipe and we're gonna go do that all the way down to the lake we're gonna put it through a ditch here through the grass it's gonna grow over it's gonna be protected from the sunshine that's just the solution for now for the summer eventually we plan on getting an excavator and digging this cable into the ground which in order for us to get this frost free we have to get one meter deep into the ground here so it's a bigger project to do that which we don't have the money for right now but that's why we just put this here to have this for the summer and fall at least and have water access for our houses as a backup as well.